so she had to share. But she had quite a few interests of heart. But nowadays she likes to use a computer, but of course you know back then she couldn't have, she didn't have one. They were all in the big business. But back then she went to school and she worked hard. And see these uh, shirt here, that's her school colors, blue and white, because uh, back in high school, she was a cheerleader. Bum bum, tis boom ba, yay yay, la la la. Yeah, one time when she was a cheerleader in high school, she got tackled by a football player and broke her ankle. And ever since then, she can no longer do the twist. Anyway, she, like I said, I represent her cheerleader years, batons and pom-poms on her umbrella. Oh, by the way, you know, forgot to mention, for, as with the trumpets and the bat baton here, I use Mario Paint to design one set, and I multiply it times four on Animal Crossing because a uh, Mario Paint stamp is equal to one quarter of a whole Animal Crossing stamp. By the way, this is a daisy shirt she's wearing. Anyway, uh, she, she also uh, she likes plants, so she kept the gardens around then and now. Uh, she also liked to uh, play games, so there's a knight here. Yeah. And she also had uh, classic furniture in her room and uh, around the house because uh, they belonged to her parents, so here's a hutch. Yeah. So anyway, let's go to uh, her room that she shared with uh, a few of her sisters. Yeah. Like I said, she shared the room with uh, her sisters. So we got a big bed. See that? More than one person can sleep in it. But of course, in the little room of hers, she uh, does things hard, so she does, does a lot of work. So not only did she work outside, but she worked inside. She made clothes, so she used a sewing machine for that. And of course, she uh, worked hard when she went to school, so she uh, had a lot of writing to do. In the line of her making clothes, see, uh, she made probably made a dolly or two. Now here's a couple of her fine designs. Anyway, she keeps she kept her clothes in her uh, closets as well as her uh, fabrics that she used. Although you know, back in her day, I'm surprised she did not get her fabrics mixed up with her clothes because if she wore the little fabrics, well, wouldn't that cover much. Anyway, of course, she likes to keep pretty, so. Uh, she always likes to have a little vanity mirror. So anyway, uh, we're going to head downstairs for uh, a little set part in the uh, days of old. This will be what you would call a uh, kitchen slash dining room. Hey, soup's on. Who wants soup? Oh yeah, she likes to, old to get old stuff as well, so she's got a little tea set here. And uh, we got kitchen, fridge, and uh, stove. Here's a little fan to keep cool with. Keep food in this little uh, pantry. And she keeps her uh, boots and mops in the old closet here. Although somebody brought the mop, somebody wanted to clean up. You put your garbage in the garbage can. And this is the sad part. In the kids, in some in some places now, in the. Uh, very few houses nowadays, but what happened in the uh, old days, the bathroom was in the same room as uh, the kitchen. But luckily, we always remember to wash our hands with soap and water. Yeah. Anyway, that's just in the days of old. Nowadays, she does have a private bathroom. Anyway, she's better off now than she was in the old days. Because, uh, with time travel forward. Yeah, now we're gonna time travel forward to the present here. Yep, that's the present we is. But like I said, uh, Mom and Dad, they uh, met each other. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you how they met. Let's go back to the Father's house and see how it was. They met over at Maddie's pub, see? Yeah. 
Mom was just uh, sitting down with her friend. She was watching uh, Bobby uh, sing up here. And well, she li she really liked his uh, singing. So uh, she, as father put it, she went up to him and then uh, as he passed by, changed the changed the thermo thermostat. Yeah. Anyway, she chased him down the hallway. and cornered him. And then uh, after that, they just talked. So they just uh, talked things out and they got to know each other, found common things. But then in 1980, they did get married. But that was father's side of the story, the chasing down the hallway thing, because mom says that that's not exactly right. But anyway, they, this is where they met over here at May's pub. Another little thing that you couldn't have without father's plastic morning machines. Trash can. So anyway, it is on the, this day that this video will be shown, but on the day it's recorded tomorrow, I mean it was yesterday it was recorded, yeah, that these two were wed. So it was like 24 years ago today, this video was sh is shown, that, that the, that the uh, priest said, Bob, do you take this woman to be your lovely wed wife, to love and hold and cherish and to honor? I do. And do you, Barbara, take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband, to love and cherish and to honor forever? I do. I now pronounce you man and wife, you may kiss the bride. Whoopee! Happy days are here again. And now let's take a look at the uh, house that uh, love brought. This here is the family room. The little uh, abode that downstairs that uh, mom and dad share. They brought everything with them between the uh, something old, something borrowed, something new, something blue. Well, there's a little blue there in the uh, barber's pole. A little something old from dad's house. But of course, nowadays, father will uh, watch television and fall asleep on his comfy chair. When it's night. Of course, he's awake during the day. And mom will, uh, she'll sometimes sleep on the couch. But of course, they uh, sleep in their bed here. Big enough for two. And they have a computer to surf the web with. And uh, we used to have a uh, player piano. But it does play. Ticket. 